ओके नेक्स्ट वी कमिंग टू एरर हैंडलिंग डिटेल्स थ्री पॉइंट्स हियर इज इंपॉर्टेंट फर्स्ट द रिपोर्टिंग डेटा डिस्कॉर्डेड रिपोर्टिंग द डेटा डिस्कॉर्डेड एट द ट्रांसमीटर एंड सेकेंड डिस्कॉर्डिंग डेटा ड्यूरिंग ए बस्ट अप्लीकेशन हैंडलिंग ऑफ डिस्कॉर्ड्स ओके जस्ट लुक एट दिस डायग्राम यू विल गेट सम नॉलेज ऑन दिस एरर हैंडलिंग डिटेल्स आइसोक्रोनस इन फंक्शन इन टू पॉइंट ट्रांसमिट बफर वोर फ्लोज वी हैव सीन दिस सिनेरियो राइट इन इन द ओके 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 आई थिंक वी हैव सीन आइसोक्रोनस आउट इन टू पॉइंट बफर वोर फ्लोज सो ड्यूरिंग दट टाइम विच बफर वोस्ट बफर वोस्ट साइड बफर हियर वी आर गोइंग टू कंसिडर अबउट डिवाइस साइड बफर ओके इन द इन द डिवाइस साइड बफर वाट विल हेपन दिस थिंग्स सो a uh, blank indicates packet sent and uh, this is a uh, packet smashes and this kind of box indicates uh, not reserved for n stream okay so what's happening here uh, interval 1 interval 2 3 4 like that it's going on and uh, this is smashed i think right so what's happening here 0 to 1 and uh, this is a uh, packet sent here also sent sent so these are all the things smart uh, reconnection now we are going to see about disconnect how the disconnect is happening okay it's happening in uh, two ways first is explicit uh, disconnect second is implicit okay what do you mean by explicit means Uh, the host or device to initiate uh, disconnect event okay uh, wo- first we are going to see about host initiated okay what is host initiated disconnect means host send three consecutive wi- uh, wireless device disconnect ies ies means what information element so three disconnect ies it will send or host disconnect ie to all the devices in a cluster in a cluster so many devices will be there either it can disconnect all the devices or a particular device okay that's what happening how it's happening means host will send a disconnect ie information element packet to all the devices or a particular device okay so the device disconnect imme- device disconnects immediately and enters the unconnected state this is the first scenario second scenario is device initiated disconnect event what is the device in- uh, initiated disconnect event means device sends uh, device notification disconnect notification during the device notification period to notify the host the first scenario is host is disconnecting all the devices or a particular device second scenario is a particular device wants to disconnect from the host so in that case it will send the device disconnect notification to the host next the host responds to the device with the device notification disconnect notification in a s- subsequent mmc so first mmc we know that mmc one will start then time period so during that time period device will send device notification in the next mmc host has to respond for this disconnect right so during that time it will tell that okay you disconnect like that so the host responds to the device uh, dn disconnect notification in a subsequent uh, mmc with a device wireless usb device disconnect ie targeting the part, uh, requesting device so so far we have seen the first method what is called uh, explicit now what do you mean by implicit means the basic model of the implicit disconnect is the trust timeout threshold it will keep some uh, timer if uh, during that timer uh, timer uh, timer if it is not uh, receiving any signal from that particular device means automatically that device will get de- uh, disconnected okay so the mechanism defined uh, to accommodate uh, uh, refresh of the trust relationship are different depending on the operational state or communication load on the device so three operation states are active idle sleep these are all the three operation states okay so imp- explicit disconnect implicit disconnect both are i think uh, i hope you are getting next uh, security mechanisms wireless usb hosts and devices operate in a mac layer security mode 
wireless usb control request enca encapsulated in a mac layer data frames okay a device receives a group key from the host at the completion of a successful four way handshake four way handshake is nothing but i to as i told earlier authentication process that authentication process is nothing but four way handshake okay this is a process at the end of this process only both the device and uh, host will have a session key by using that key it will encrypt the data okay however a device must be able to receive mmcs from the host in order to locate the host and start the four way handshake if you ask uh, before the uh, four way handshake first it has to get connected right during that time how it is receiving mmc and all mmc and all broadcast packets how it is receiving means it will uh, since it is a broadcast packet every device will receive that mmc and it will send connect notification once it uh, it get connected to the host after that this authentication process is happening through this four way handshake process a device is permitted to successfully receive a secured mmc if it is not yet in possession of valid group key if it is don't have any gra valid group key in that case if it uh, it will not receive mmc it should have that valid group key when the device receives a group key from the host it should begin validation of the mmcs as described for the mac layer this point is clear right and connection lifetime uh, uh we told that uh, i told uh, connection lifetime lifetime means uh, 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 we have derived on the time yeah mm. how long the data connection between the sorry the connection between the host and device will be get secured okay so here uh, they mentioned that wireless usb requires a data communication must occur frequently enough to keep the trust relation intact within a trusted time out period no host to device or device to host transfer transfer the host will force reauthentication for way handshake before the resumption of normal data communication the duration for trusted time out is 4 seconds now we are going to see from the host perspective what are all the security considerations we have to consider okay first chid chid means c indicates connection h indicates host id indicates identification okay so chid is selection devices uses the chid field to connection context to locate a host okay clear to ensure uniqueness in the presence of multiple host 64 addresses used UI 68 and CDID selection. CDID value should be derived using the pseudo random function PR of 128. Okay. 